I call the member for Fisher. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Do you know what's really sad about this is that uh, Veterans Affairs is too important to be playing silly political games, and that is exactly, exactly what, what you, you are, are doing. doing. It is exactly what the Labor Party is doing. It is absolutely disgraceful. And do you know what the hypocrisy of this is? Is that those members opposite come into the chamber and talk about wanting an, in, uh, an integrity commission. They talk about wanting an integrity commission that goes on and on and on, as opposed to having piecemeal commissions or royal commissions. This is exactly on point because the, this commission, this commission, this commission has all the powers of a standing royal commission. Name me one thing. Name me one thing in this commission that the royal commission does not have. They don't know. This party, the Labor Party, is playing base political, absolute base political games with veterans, which is an absolute disgrace. There have been 400 people, 400 members of the ADF or veterans that have died recently. Ten. The, 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 me the member for so the, the member will take a seat. The member will withdraw, and I'm going to give a general warning. If the level of interjections keeps up, I'll be forced to remove people under Section 187 of the Standing Orders. The member for Fisher, continue. 41 members of the ADF died in Afghanistan, and we've had 10 times that many die uh, by suicide. So we have a problem here. We are trying to, to resolve or, or assist this problem by the establishment of this commission. It's, it would be well funded. Uh, the, the funding is $42.7 million. It will go back to 2001. It will look at all of the suicides. It will look at, it will work with all of the state's coroners. But what is important about this is that it, it is ongoing and it has all the powers of a royal commission. So when I hear those opposite say that you know, it, it, it doesn't, point me to one aspect of it that it does not have the powers of a standing royal commission. You look at things like the Triple C, where the member for uh, the member for Blair comes from. Now, the Triple C has all the powers of a standing royal commission. Those members opposite come in here, and that's what they say they want an ICAC at a federal level because it is an ongoing arrangement. And yet, for veterans, it's somehow not good enough. It is simply untrue that those members opposite say that you know, all or the vast majority of, of ADF veterans want uh, or, or do not want this commission, that they want a royal commission. That is untrue. There are 15,000 veterans in Fisher, and or, a correction, there are 15,000 veterans on the Sunshine Coast, one of the largest veteran populations in the country. And I'm very involved with all of my RSLs and all of my ESOs in my electorate. And I can say, hand on heart, that the vast majority of people, the veterans that I talk to, don't want a Royal Commission. They don't want something that starts here and finishes here. They want something that will address this in perpetuity with all the powers of a standing Royal Commission. On that we agree. On that we agree that we need to be doing more, Member for Blair. We need to be doing more. We do not want to see one more needless death. But I plead with those members opposite to work with us on this is too important. The Member for Solomon, your passion for this issue. I plead with those members opposite to work with us, put aside the politics. Let's work with this so that we, we don't have any more needless deaths. I know that's what you want. That's what we want. But it's how we get there. And a standing a, a, a commission with all the powers of a standing royal commission is what will address and how we will deal with this in the best possible way. And I want to invite the member for Solomon 
in his speech to point to one thing that Members this commission does not have. I call the question.